guys, that was uh, the end of season two of The Hundred. Uh, I gotta say this, I loved this season. It was actually better than season one, just because we had a lot more action, a lot of more things happening, everything was a mess, they were trying to form alliances and everything blew up in their faces at the end, so I'm happy that that, that tomorrow I'm gonna have to watch uh, season three. I don't have to wait that much. Uh, but yeah, I, I I I mean this this season has been amazing. Okay, so I been watched in the entire season two over the weekend. I left this episode for today because I didn't have like one more hour. I actually went to record and I was in my PJs all day, so I wasn't re going to record like that. Not that I look better, but okay, that's another subject. Um, so the entire season two, it's even though I love season one, season two is so much better, and it's so much better because all the things that season one was referring to actually happen on season two. We have the the whole Mount Weather uh, people uh, storyline. We have the Grounders, we have the Ark back on Earth. I didn't expect that the Ark actually can come back to Earth and actually some people uh, could be alive after that. So I like the fact that um, they all find a way to come back even Thelonious find a way to come back and apparently he has a mission and he's a visionary and whatever and I think <laughs> every plan that he has is backfiring him so uh, because at the end I think that it looks like that hologram girl is trying to use the um, what was it? the uh, missile that he used to come to earth so if he was on a mission and he that something or something bigger than the Camp Jaha was for him that he had another mission, I think it's a really bad one. So um, Yaha, I had problems with Yaha. Uh, first, I was like, oh my god, he really sacrificed himself for uh, his people, he stopped being selfish and stick to the rules and actually save them. Uh, then I was glad that he actually found a way to come back to Earth, but then he started to to believe that he had a, a bigger motive in his life, that he didn't come all the way from space to Earth to just being there and watch his people die. But Living in the middle of a war that could result that the entire people that he knew might die, I don't think that he made the, the, the most smart decision. At least he should have waited until everything was clear. Um, but you know, that's his deal. Uh, he went uh, to fight this, the City of Light. Um, he actually did find it. I don't think a lot of people have found uh, the City of Light. I, I don't. I honestly don't think so. I think some of them have given up on the middle of, of, of the search. Um, but I don't know. I think it was really good to see him just trying, trying, say, I'm not convinced that this is the end. We have to keep, keep going, keep going. But in the last episode, he made the decision. Okay, even if none of the 14 people that come with me uh, are going to survive, I don't care. I have to go because it's my destiny, you know. So he, I hate the fact that he only used people to actually get to where he wanted to be. Uh, Murphy also uh, grow up a lot from being like the outsider to the group to being hate to actually betrayed his own people uh, to actually understand that there's more to him that he is he doesn't have to be always classified as a as a criminal he could be more and that's the only good thing that can come out of this whole Yaha uh, uh, trip that he made to find the City of Light. Uh, so even though I hated Murphy back in season one and 
a little bit on season two, I actually ended up liking him because he actually, he at the end, he's true to himself. You know, he doesn't take crap. Uh, if he wants to do something, he will do it, either good or bad, but he's true to himself. I don't think Yaha is like that, you know. Uh, at the end, I don't, I'm not sure what the hell that hologram lady is, but I think that um, that videotape of the guy saying she wanted to launch again or something like that, it's meant that the girl, the hologram, is actually behind something bad and he didn't want to be part of that. That's what I understood. Um, and the fact that it's a hologram that doesn't think that uh, her thoughts come from codes and, and it's very like you have to do this and they will stick to that. Um, that's what's really like terrifying, you know. Um, I, I, I like Two, that season one was about them coming to Earth, season two was about Mount Weather, and it looks like season three is going to be about that whole city of light and, and the hologram, and I like that we have these ships between storylines and every season can be a different thing, because that means that they are not going to stretch out things. You know, it's not like Pretty Little Liars that we spend like three seasons not knowing who A was to have a not really good and and like another really good reveal with Cece and Charla and the whole Charles thing. Now let's focus on Clark is a character that a lot of you said that she was annoying on season one. I didn't find her annoying uh, but she is still very selfish. She always tries to do the right thing based on what she believes is the right thing. Sometimes she doesn't hear other people, she just goes with what she thinks, but it's certain that she's still a kid, you know? And the fact that she has to make such a big, important decisions for such a large group uh, is asking too much of her, I think. Um, I like her, the evolve, how she has evolved, uh, how the character is a little bit more conscious of her actions. I don't think that uh, she made decisions lightly now, uh, especially after the two times she has had to kill so many people. You know, she had to kill, she didn't say shit to the people on Town DC uh, to actually save them because Lexa got in her head and tell her that if she said that then um, Mount Weather will know that Bellamy was inside and they were gonna start looking for him so it was better that all those people died, you know? Um, and even though it wasn't smart of Lexa I think that Lexa, as we saw on the previous episode, she had an ulterior motive. She only wanted that her people uh, come out of life, alive of that, of that place. Um, the Grounders are such an, an amazing characters because they have had to survive and adapt. And sadly, even though they are very strong, they believe that they believed at that point that the people in Mount Weather were better and they could actually kill them all. I don't think that they could have. I think that the window that um, Clark created for them to release all the people uh, inside of that dorm where they drain their blood, um, it was a good plan. And if Lexa didn't turn her back, I think that the results might have been a little bit different. Uh, I think that there, there were still going to be some people, innocent people that were gonna die, but maybe not all of them, and not in the way that um, it did. I hate the fact that even though Maya uh, helped so many people uh, to survive, she actually helped the grounders and the people of the Ark, and still she died. And 
I don't like that. I don't like that. I thought that she was gonna make it, that she somehow, you know, even though they couldn't, like, um, they already have killed people, so they had, like, bone marrow to, uh, to use on someone so I was hoping that they were gonna use that on her and actually save her but yeah it didn't work out I don't know why Octavia didn't just pick her up or try to pick her up and take her to the dorm to actually help her um, but like Bellamy said even if if Jasper killed uh, Cage I think that they will still be coming back for more um, it was sad, it was sad that the kids were dead, uh, but I don't know, I guess it was a price they have to uh, pay for getting them out. Um, now, back to Clark, um, I obviously think that this is going to change her, uh, her entire view on what is good and what is bad and what, what, what's right and wrong, um, mainly because uh, she doesn't know right now if what she did was good or not because yes she saved around 40 people 40 of, of, of her friends but she did have killed a lot of people to get them there uh, I hope that whatever she goes she doesn't get killed I don't think she will because she's the main character uh, I think it's safe to say that she's not gonna die but I still have like some problems with that I don't know I like I like Clark, I think, still think that she's a little bit selfish, like I said, but I don't know, I don't know, I hope that, I actually am not shipping Lexa and Clark that much, uh, this is the first time I guess that I am actually shipping the straight couple on the show, uh, because I think Bellamy understands her better, maybe because it's, it's just um, because he comes from the same place, he has experimented the same things that she have and have made the same type of decisions that she had made. Um, so he really understands her a lot. Uh, with Lexa is the complete opposite because Lexa and Clark are from different worlds. Literally, they're from different places and Clark doesn't understand where where all the things that, that Lexa can say and do come from and she has lived in a very like civilized uh, uh, society so I don't know I think it's interesting to say the least I think it will be interesting to uh, watch that relationship uh, develop I don't feel like like Alexa could be endgame right now. I'm sorry, and don't kill me because I have seen a lot of people who ship Alexa, uh, but they have to earn it, you know. And right now, yes, yes, I mean they're complicated, and they could be really good if they come to a middle ground where, where they both can understand each other. But so far, not good. I mean, Alexa really betrayed her. So, uh, I don't know, I, I, so far I'm team Bellark, that, I think that's the name of Bellamy and Clark, because I think Bellamy actually understands uh, Clark a little better. So I hope that on season 3, maybe they make me change my mind, I don't know, so far uh, team Bellark, I guess. Um, then Bellamy, like I said, he really is like uh, like Lark, he understands what he has to do to get their people safe. But if you think about it, it's the same thing that Alexa did, you know? Uh, but I don't know, I have my conflicts with those two characters. Because even though the, the, the things that they have done are very similar, uh, they're driven by something else and completely different in their own way but at the same time it's the same result they ended up killing people uh, just like Alexa did so yeah I don't know what to think uh, I like Bellamy I, I'm not gonna lie I like Bellamy uh, I think he's 
one of my favorite characters. Uh, Raven is my other favorite character. Octavia is amazing. Uh, and I like that Octavia is that middle point. She understands her people, the people from the art, and she understands the grounders. She really, really understands the grounders and she understands the loyalty that they have for each other. Uh, but she, just like in the art, she's not going to do something bad or uh, uh, try to kill people just to uh, get her way. I think she will have love it to fight and die fighting than to just kill because there's no other way out. Um, so yeah, I don't know, Jasper is a really good character. I really, really enjoy Jasper a lot this season. He's very strong, he's another person who has his beliefs very intact. He believes in, in, in the greater good, uh, even though he was kind of sad when Maya died. Uh, but he's a really good guy. Monty too, I didn't thought that the two nerds was, were actually gonna make it. Um, they did, thankfully. Um, so I like both of them. Um, and yeah, we'll see what happened next season. I haven't watched um, the trailer for season three. I'm, I'm gonna watch it, but that was gonna be like off, off camera because we actually don't have more time to keep posting videos. This is gonna be the last for the hundred and then I'm gonna return for the hundred season three tomorrow. I hope that I can watch it live actually and tweet with you guys. But if you can and if you want, you can tweet at me uh, during the episode, during tomorrow's episode. You can also follow me on Snapchat, talk to me directly on Snapchat. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of ways we can communicate, so please use all my social medias. Links will be in the description below. And like I said, if I have to rate this season, I'm actually going to give it a, a 10. It was really good. I don't have any complaints. Uh, because the man mount weather thing was the entire season and it got resolved and no one... I think only Emerson is alive. Emerson and because Cage got his hand cut off and he's not going to like wrap it so he can't bleed out even though he's drugged but he can't bleed out so I, I don't think he's gonna be alive I love the Lincoln actually did that and didn't took the drug uh, I was I was like oh my god he's gonna do it he's gonna become a uh, cage slave or something like that but he didn't, I'm glad for that. And who else? Oh, Indra, I love Indra. She knows what's right, she knows what's wrong, but she's loyal, you know? She doesn't, even though she knows her commander is doing things wrong, she's gonna stick by her and she's gonna be by her side. Also, another thing that I love about The 100 is how many great female characters they have. Like strong female characters that, just like Clark at the beginning of the season when she was in Mount Weather, she didn't need no man to go and save her. She saved herself and then even though she made a lot of crappy decisions, she saved her people. Yeah, with the help of Bellamy, but you know what I mean. I love that, that we have so many uh, strong characters. Raven is another one, uh, Octavia, the commander, Lexa, Indra. Uh, even, uh, the, what was the one that I loved? Anya, I loved Anya. And on my Snapchat, I took a picture like say, oh my God, I love Anya. And I posted and like the second later, I was like, oh my God, Anya's dead. Like, it was like that. And, but I loved it. I loved Anya. Um, so yeah, like I say, it was, there's probably a lot of things that I'm missing out. Oh. I know what I'm missing out. Finn! I can't believe, I honestly can't believe they actually killed him. I thought that we, that I was going to have to deal with him a lot longer, but uh, I'm glad that he's dead. I mean, he deserved, 100% deserved what the, the grounders were gonna do to him just because he killed really like innocent people. They, they weren't armed. And he killed uh, all those people just because he once wanted to find Clark. 
and he went banana, so I'm glad that he's dead actually. But anyway, poor Finn, I guess. But no, not not really. Okay, guys, that's it for this um, review. I'm sure I'm forgetting things, but I have to pause this video already. And yeah, thank you so much for all this support. As always, you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat. Instagram everywhere. I'm everywhere. So check it out links in the description below. Also, don't forget to subscribe There's gonna be a link right there so you guys can subscribe and Yeah, thank you so much for all the support. I will see you guys Next time. Bye Oh my god Oh my god, Raven.